previous video, we in downloaded, installed, and configured um, Merth Connect, and we also run the server and the administrator. And right now, we, I have the administrator open, and on this video, I will show you how to create a channel using the Merth administrator and how to use that channel. Yeah, so we will we will go here to channels. I will right click here. I will put here new channel. This channel, you need to set a name for the channel. So I will say uh, HTTP log, for example. You also need to say here the data types that you will receive on your channel. So for example, I will put this as JSON. I will say the channel will process just a JSON um, format, but you have uh, all the types of formats or types of data. Here you have the limited text, you have DICOM format. This is for uh, imaging um, studies. So DICOM is for um, medical information. EDI and X12 is for a file um, format used in the US uh, is for, for um, a lot of things in the government, but is used also to send uh, claim information. So related to healthcare, HSA version, version two and version three also available here. JSON, we will use this JSON option. Um, NCPDP is related to a standard in the US also about medications. Raw is when you want to send something that doesn't comply with any definition here and XML. Yeah, so we will choose JSON, okay. And um, the, the channels in Mirth Connect have two um, big components, the source and the destinations. The source is the configuration of the reception of your external message. Yeah, so I will configure that source. We will receive a message through a JSON message through HTTP. So I will configure here HTTP listener, but you have many options here on how you want to receive the messages. This is defining basically the communication protocol that will be used to send messages to Mirth and how Mirth will receive those. So I will put here HTTP listener and this will create basically a um web server yeah so i need to configure the port this will be for example 8089 uh, then the context path will be sample for instance um, here you can see that it creates a, a url so i need to use this url that is here that is localhost 8089 that is the port and sample is my context path yeah um, then i will leave everything as it is yeah i don't need to configure anything else i will save my changes here and as i said before we have two big components of the channels we have the source connector and the destination connectors at least you need one destination on a Merth Connect channel, but you can have many destinations, but channels have just one source. So in the destinations, you have one destination by default, but you can add new destination. Yeah, you, ha you can have more, de more than one destination. And this is uh, where the messages are processed to send, to be sent out to other systems. Could be other systems that are listening through an API, or it could be, for example, a database. You can actually store your some data extracted for the received message on a database or on a file, for example. Yeah. And here we won't do anything uh, useful. I was I was just show you how to mm, process the messages and how uh, messages are sent to to Mirth. So I will just put here a JavaScript writer, and I will put here. Uh, just a log info and I will show you the message that was received and this is the encoded data 
yeah this should print out the message that was sent to mirth yeah uh, i will save this configuration yeah there are other details that i'm not showing you like what these variables are other configurations here other configurations here those um detailed configurations are mentioned on our course so if you go to Kaba Labs, we have a workshop of Mirth Connect and we show that those details there in the workshop if you go to kabolabs.com you need to select the oh this is working a little slow today maybe smart internet connection I guess I have internet. Yeah, I have internet. If you go to services, online education program, you will see here that we have somewhere. Today is loading and this low here. We have a Mirth Connect Interverity Workshop, yeah? So if you want to know um, Mer how Mirth Connect works in detail, I suggest you go here and you can uh, sign up to our wait list and you will receive a notification when a new edition of that course is uh, available, yeah? But going back to our channel, the next thing after you configure the channel is to deploy the channel. Deploying the channel will make this port open and available to be invoked. Yeah, so I will just click here, deploy channel. Are you sure to deploy? Yeah. So you will see here that this should say started. Yeah, and you will see here some indicators of the messages that were received. Also, if I go to a terminal and I check for the ports. Yeah, you will see the port 8080 is taken by Mirth Connect. 8443 also is Mirth Connect and 8089 is our channel. Yeah, those are the ports that are taken right now by Mirth so i can use that uh, url i will just go back to channels double click on the channel source and i will copy this url and i will use that url as configuration so i will put this here on the left and i will open this on the right this is insomnia rest client is a tool i use to send uh, HTTP requests. It's just for testing. So I will go here, a new request. I will put uh, test Merth. This is the name. Uh, this will be a post. You always need to send post to Merth Connect and I will send a JSON structure. Yeah, because I configured Merth Connect to receive JSON. Here you put the URL and here you can put just JSON this is just sample information ah. Let's say I put that data, yeah? This could be any data that you want to send to Merth. So let's let's send this. You can do two things. Just click on send or can you can uh, type control enter and it will send a message. Yeah, send request. You can see here the shortcut. So I will just send it here. Boom. And you can see here on the left, First, you can see this log. 
yeah and this log is the log that was configured on the destination connector yeah and it just showed the message that i sent through http yeah with, with all the data so mirth received that information and also if you see the indicators here you can see that it was um it received one uh, message and sent one message means that the the channel started and finished it correctly yeah and if you double click here and you can see if you open you can see this the source connector and the destination connector yeah if you go here and you double click on the channel you will see the logs since i just sent one message you will see one log that has two parts the first part is the source connector log yeah and it is telling me that it received this um payload through http yeah and the destination log is here and it also received the same data because i didn't i didn't um executed any transformations over the data the idea of mirth connect is that you can receive one piece of data a data structure a file or whatever through um com communication protocol and you can process that message that structure and you can extract data you can change the format of that data so i could for example extract the information here and i could save that information to a database or i can transform this json uh, structure into an xml structure and send that instead of using http i can send that using for example tcp to another application or i can create just a, an xml file and store that xml file into an ftp server i could do many things using mirth connect the idea of mirth connect is it sits in the middle because it is a middleware of two systems that you want to integrate and the systems just talk different communication protocols and different message formats and you use mirth to overcome those differences and make you know the 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 link uh of i would say compatibility between um it's, the, it's like an adapter yeah that is a better analogy it's like an adapter between two systems that couldn't connect yeah, it's like where you when you have an electric adapter and uh, your your plug doesn't doesn't connect to the to the wall plug and you need an adapter in the middle. That is Mirth Connect, basically. Yeah, but this is just a very simple example, a very simple channel. I wanted just to show you the basics of Mirth Connect and something that is actually working. After this, you can take um, more steps. You can actually extract each individual data point each individual attribute you can do validations you can do transformations for example if you want the name of the person to be in uppercase for your um your the, the system in in the other part of the of the channel maybe needs you know the the name all in uppercase or if you have a date here maybe the the other system needs the date in a specific format so you you use mirth connect to make all those small transformations yeah in the in the data in the structure in the format and also between communication protocols so that is the power of mirth connect yeah hope you enjoy this and remember that we have a mirth connect workshop here in the website of cabo labs yeah and if you have any questions you can just contact me through the contact form yeah, hope you enjoyed this and if you have any questions also leave a comment here in the video bye bye